No, it's uh, actually, it's oh, hello everyone, good evening. It's the first of June, 2011, 2011, according to the Gregorian calendar. Uh, <laughs> right, engineered by Pope Gregory, so who says this is how long the days will be, this is how long the month will be, this is how long. whatever you know, it's just a joke. So, here I am, just an earthly. Gerald and my weekly, monthly, yearly, one of my many rants. I'd like to concentrate basically on the separation of church and state. The reason is because I concentrate on that a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of different things involved. Okay. Uh, and it's not just separation either. It's a whole First Amendment issue that... Uh, in my opinion, people for some reason are not getting, uh, like, uh, let's take the, the uh, abortion debate, for instance. The debate seems to be centering around between the uh, pro-lifers, talk about your misnomer, <laughs> your conservatives, and your uh, pro-choice people, liberals, or, I guess, or anybody who uh, thinks a woman should have the right to uh, have the procedure done to her body that she pleases, that she wishes to have, without someone else knowing about it or whatever. It's none of their business. So, uh, it's equated with abortion because it's a matter of a woman's right to choose. Now, the argument goes, these other guys say that the fetus is like a parasite. It's not part of the woman's body. <laughs> whatever. And they'll come up with any excuse they can to make it so they feel the woman's trying to murder her baby. Not, none of it's true. Nobody wants an abortion. And anyway, the whole argument is basically one thing. It comes down to this. The First Amendment, or your right to privacy. If you're about to have a medical procedure, no one has a right to know what that is except for you and your doctor. So I'll never understand anyway how some of these freaks and fools and right-wing zealots even know a woman's going to have an abortion. That's what I want to know. And why isn't everybody jumping and getting on the bandwagon with me, these pro-choice women and such, and argue about it being the First Amendment right? That other people, especially these Christian bastards, have no right to tell you what you can do with your body or to tell you what medical procedure you're having done. They don't even have the right to know what that is. So I can't understand why you guys aren't just jumping right on that. First Amendment, the right to privacy and such. <clears throat> the right to free speech or whatever. <clears throat> but you can't just tell somebody, you know, we don't like that medical procedure, so you can't have it. You can't do that. That's not right. And abortion is a medical procedure. I don't care what you call it. You're wrong. Legally, that's what it is, a medical procedure. And no one needs to know what it's, who's doing it but the person having it done and the doctor who's performing it. So how would you even know these pro-life people? How would they even know if my neighbor here, for instance, was going to have an abortion? How would they know? Does they have a right to Doctor patient confidentiality. Right. They do. Now, they call separation church and state. We're supposed to be a secular government. And the whole time everybody screams about it. We're a Christian nation, we're a Christian nation. And then the bastards go and prove it. Once again, nobody says anything about the First Amendment. They started giving this, uh, sending us out this news program, this, this uh, alert that this pedophile Catholic priest from Portland, Oregon, who's been under fire, who shuffled the pedophiles around, uh, hey, if you're in the car, you're guilty. Do you get that? If you plead no contest, you're guilty. Because you're admitting they have the evidence to convict you, so you don't want to fight it. That's no contest. It has nothing to do with innocence. <laughs> you're guilty. 
And when you pay somebody off to keep their mouth shut, saying, here, I'm going to give you $10 million if you get molested, you're guilty. You're guilty. And now they take this same pervert and make him get this now. First Amendment's gotten thrown right out the window and nobody, not even you atheists, none of you people have fucking said a word, not a fucking word about separation. Instead of everybody's cheering that they, they chose this fucking pedophile Catholic pervert to be the congressional chaplain. To say a prayer every fucking morning. And they're going to pay him. Where's the separation? They never have a rabbi up there. They never have an imam up there. The only ones they ever have up there. These so-called congressional chaplains, cocksuckers, are the monotheistic, Abrahamic, Judeo, fuckwad, spaghetti monster, magic man in the sky. That freaking delusion about the guy getting tortured on a cross and all that crap. And they expect us to sit back because we are and not say anything about separation of church and state. And I seem to be the only one who's woken up to this fact and said something about it. Where are the rest of you? Where are you guys, Thunderfoot, PZ? Where are you guys? Come on. Tell Congress we don't need or want a fucking congressional minister. Damn, that's just the most blatant, blatant subjugation and oppression and boot step of our rights. Just throw it right out the door. They just knocked all over us. You guys don't care. I care. I'm going to do this every fucking day until somebody wakes up. Separation of my ass. You can't have separation if you're going to pay somebody to come and uh, <laughs> verify that you have a delusion and that you're schizophrenic and hearing voices. Angels and gods and deities. Thank you for making this day. You fuck. It was bad enough. You've got company chaplains and division chaplains in an army. Bring back the First Amendment. Shut these fools up. They're still even swearing on the Bible. I wouldn't do it. They actually said that my oath wasn't good enough. Excuse me? It's the same bullshit. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. <clears> throat. I'm having a little trouble. Same bullshit as these fools that say, well, how can you be moral or have any morality if you don't have God to teach you? Excuse me? You mean to tell me you don't know right from wrong? You don't know that it's wrong to kill somebody or steal from them or screw their wife or any of that. You don't know that that's wrong? What's wrong with you, dude? You need mentally ill or something crazy? Of course, that shit's common sense. Do you get it? That's where morality comes from. Common sense. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy when you know right from wrong, that is. You had decent parents. And even if you didn't, I mean, you got to know right from wrong. It's pretty simple to find out. If it makes them cry, it hurts. And you're not supposed to do it. Jeez. Something bothers you, chances are it's going to bother other people too. Separation of church and state. A congressional minister. And dare you fucks to get up in arms. Come on, let's see it. Jesus O'File. Edward Kurt. Come on, and Pat, come on, Connell, give me some. You've got the words, I know you do. But, like I said, we need separation. Europe's got a bad enough trouble with their. Uh, they, France did the right thing. Ban in the burqa? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, we had to ban all that shit here. Crucifix it, crucifixes, uh, rosaries, all that shit. It's pornographic for one thing. Crucifix? Yeah. It's some guy being tortured on a cross for crying out loud. And then, you know, you realize that, you know, you think, you would think people would think critically and, and you know, get it, but they don't. Some of them are still even taking their babies in to have blood sacrificed, you know, when they're born. Yeah, Briss. Old Rabbi's got to taste the first blood. Uh, even all the New York babies, rabies and stuff, and herpes and all kinds of probably AIDS. Just because they got to do that blood sacrifice. with the morals. Got to get after them, man. I'm telling you. I don't, you're thinking I'm babbling, but actually I'm just giving examples of what our government is such and everybody has been accepting and appeasing. I'm sick of it. We would like some real separation of church and state. We don't need the president coming up after being this old and saying, I think I'm delusional now. I have me a sky daddy <laughs> in so many words. What the hell? It's the last thing we need, especially the guy trying to make fun of pot smokers. Excuse me. You freaking beer drinker? Fuck. Ah, it was a break. <clears throat> I'm done with you anyway, Barry. You're gone in 12. Good night, everybody. First, who am I really? I'm just an earthling. I told you that. No, it's the truth. I really am. Good night.